going to London. I'm at the bus stop. I'm going by coach because it takes me practically door to door and it takes me right into Covent Garden. And I wasn't sure about the train strikes and stuff. So it's four days before Christmas. My plan is to look at the Christmas lights. Carnaby Street, Regent Street, Oxford Street, Covent Garden. Problem is they don't, they're energy savings. They didn't switch them on until three or half past three. So, um, but I leave London at six. So I'll still be able to see them. And hopefully I'll get onto a, a bus as well and see them from the, the top of the double-decker bus. So I'll show you around and see, show you how, Lond how Christmassy London is. Here I am in Covent Garden. There's a jewellery Christmas tree. I'll show you around here. Trafalgar Square and there's a Christmas market on behind me. Go have a look around those stalls. Christmas tree has come from Norway because um, thank you for the people for, of London for their assistance during the Second World War. And look how pathetic this tree is. Look at those gaps in the branches. It's really thin, badly decorated. <laughs> what this is about. I mean, this is with the New Year celebration, so maybe it's a countdown to the end of the year. There's the Angels on Regent Street, not switched on, because we're really saving energy. First time ever they're not switched on all day. Street lights, they switched on. seen this war memorial before right next to Hyde Park it's got camels elephants through there is a dog and there's a horse over there so there's winter wonderland behind me there's a big wheel there's some rides there it looks better at night Lights have just been switched on, half past three. Not really bright yet. This is the food hall in Selfridges. It's got a fun place to be. Yeah, it's getting dark. Marks and Spencer's lit up. There's the buses.
the Strand. Look all the theatres are. The lights are so pretty. It's really dark now.